Hey guys, I was going to show you my sweet crusader. And um, it's probably one of the more enjoyable builds I've uh, played in ROS. I do like it a lot. As far as season 3 goes, I've only um, really only played the Barbarian and the Crusader. But between the two, um, Whirlwind is a snooze fest in comparison. So let me go over the skills and how I gear my guy and what I think about it, all the good stuff. So, full row lands, uh, obviously, and then use Golden Flints, otherwise you're going to be Wrath Starved. And then you're going to use the uh, New Denial for the extra sweep attack juice. And then you're going to need the power of the Ancient Parthen Defenders. It's going to give you all the mitigation that you pretty much need. Um, combined with a Unity. Old Unity combo and then Convention on the other ring. Amulet's going to be whatever um, you can get. I'll go over the specifics on the gear, but for now, Sweep Attack, Trip Attack, there's no other option here. The stun is really nice, comboed with the Parthen Defenders, Survivability Juice, um, Condemn, Vacuum, this is my preference. Um, there are a couple other things you could try, or if you're running Focus and Restraint, which I tried and found to be way too squishy, you would probably use something like Slash Guard, Steed Charge, Drawn Quarter, between Condemn, Steed Charge, and then Iron Skin Flash, you're going to have some decent uh, pulling ability and mo uh, mobility at the same time. Uh, might take some practice and some getting used to using these three abilities together, but it definitely helps you uh, maneuver throughout the map and save a lot of time. Laws of Valor, Unstoppable Force, on a single target you're completely wrath starved, so you're definitely going to need this. Um, you could potentially get like wrath re uh, regeneration on your weapon, stuff like that, but it's way too hard to have um, good uptime on your deeps for a single target. so. Unstoppable Force going to solve all your Wrath problems for the most part. Akarat's Champion Prophet for the Defense Juice. Iron Skin uh, Flash for the... Um, it'll prevent you from getting body blocked and gives you that nice little run speed boost. And all the survivability and all that good stuff. I was using Steel Skin before, but Flash is a lot better, I think. Um, passives, Indestructible, Finery, Heavenly Strength, Holy Cause. If you have a Hellfire for a fifth, probably a Long Arm of the Law going to help you more on that single target. To target all that good stuff. Attack speed bonuses, uh, not that big of a deal, but it does make a small difference. You could go something like Vigilant as a fifth as well. Another option. Uh, stats on your gear exactly. I would say crit chance sweep attack for sure on your helm. Shoulders, all that, except the CDR is debatable. You could go area damage or re resource cost reduction. I'd say CDR overall because five of your abilities are CDR uh, cooldown based. So that really helps. Um, area damage or CDR are the two, I would say. Um, only potential you know, choices. Again, you can go for the same thing on the gloves, but I stick to the VIT for the third stat. Because, you know, you do have some survivability issues. But you could go CDR, haven't really tried it, but I might at some point. <coughs> Chest, just as much defense juice as you can get. Amulet, um, Socket, CHD, Crit Chance, Elemental Damage, and Strength um, are what you want. I probably won't go for a Hellfire, but I might. The season's pretty long, so my ideas and opinions on some of the things with this build may change, and they probably will slightly. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, Parthens, the main thing you want here is Lightning Damage, Crit Chance, and then you try to get uh, close to 12% on your uh, bonus juice here. Uh, Thunder Gods or Witching Hour for Belt. I think if you're using a Witching Hour, though, you'd probably want to roll off the attack speed to more defense. So it'd be like Strength, Vid, All Res, and then um, the uh, CHD on the Belt. But I do think uh, Thunder Gods is going to be better overall. Uh, convention, Unity, like I said, Socket, CHD, Crit Chance, then Strength for your stats here. Pants, nothing special. Boots, make sure you get your sweep attack. Um, golden flints for your weapon, you have to use this. Um, the bonus on it, 46 sweep, uh, restores uh, wrath. 
I would say it's probably pretty important. I haven't even messed with using a 4 or 5, but on single target I'm pretty starved, so I imagine having any less is going to slow you down a little bit more and more. Um, for the rolls here, the vet's debatable. I would probably rather have CDR or um, Elite Damage. You could also have Wrath Regen as well, which would be really nice. I think that would kill all of your Wrath problems on a single target for the most part. But the Vit, that is a huge chunk of survivability, so it is really nice. Denial, you want to try and get as close to 40% on your bonus here. Um, crit chance is going to be the most valuable. Then probably Elite Damage and Socket, although I haven't bothered rolling this yet. I think it rolls up to 8% Elites. But um, ideally it'd probably be Crit Chance, Socket, 8 Elite Damage for your roll. Um, you would lose like a thousand bit having a roll like that, so you do need some bit. I mean, if I had all those rolled, like the glove, CDR, the weapon, CDR, or whatever else instead of it, and then the shield, that's three thousand bit I would be missing out on, which would make my character significantly and very much noticeable um, difference. So I haven't had the opportunity to mess with that too much. Um, the bit is definitely nice. Would the bonus? Uh, from CDRs and the elite damages make that much of a difference? Um, maybe a little bit, but for now I'm sticking to the vents. Um, Paragon juice here, obviously it's a standard max move speed and strength. This I would say crit damage first, then crit chance, CDR, and then attack speed, basically all the way up. Defense, you know, resist, armor, life, life regen last. Area damage, uh, actually I'd probably say yeah, I'd still say area damage first, then maybe resource cost reduction, then life on hit. I'm using the life on hit potion as well. Um, I don't have very much um, recovery or whatever from, you know, life on kill and life on hit and all that stuff, so I do need a little bit. Can't just rely on potion, my uh, follower, and Akarats and Indestructible to keep me alive. I do need a little bit of sustain. Uh, make sure you're, you're using Inspire on your follower for the extra wrath, and I think that is actually about it. Anything I'm forgetting? Nope. But I would say this build is very powerful. You'll clear the rift in about, you know, if you're doing like mid-50s and you got decent gear like I do, I'd say you'll clear the rift half the time, a decent to good rift half the time. You might even make some time where you have over seven and a half minutes for the boss. And, you know, typically your bosses are going to take a while, unless you're getting stun singer. Uh, any single target boss is going to be really bad because your denial is not going to give you much damage bonus. So you're looking for any boss that spawns adds, Sextress, Hamelin, uh, Bone Wall Warlock's really good. And then obviously stun singer, he spawns adds, you know, he duplicates or whatever. And he has very little HP, so he's going to be the best. But um, any single target boss is going to be aids for you. And... Yeah, I'd say this build's gonna do probably about 60 to 61 if I had to guess for this season. And uh, I enjoy it quite a bit, it's really fun to clear. Um, a lot of position management and all that stuff between uh, your horse, iron skin, condemn, and then managing your ring, trying to get as much DPS when it's in lightning form as, as you can. Power, con uh, power conduit's not very strong in this build, so you're pretty much relying on a good rift guardian and a good rift. It's not too frustrating in comparison to like, I don't know, Season 2 Raycores or something where you have to power come to a stun singer. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty solid. I like it a lot. Definitely refreshing to play versus anything I've played since the start of Season 2. Haven't had this much fun actually playing a class since uh, Stampede Pony Crusader in Season 1. And that's about all I got. I'll see you guys... Actually, I'm probably going to stream here in a little bit, so see you guys whenever. But uh, thanks for watching, and good night.